Lick number 13, Sidewinder. This is in box one, new position here. And this riff is played over a shuffle. It has a descending feel, but also we're utilizing a lot of legato in there. Some bends, some pull-offs, some slides. We're kind of pulling everything out on this one. It really gets you down and across the, the pattern, and you wind up actually down at the bottom of pattern four, which, uh, excuse me, pattern five, which is a lot of fun. Here we are in box pattern number one in A minor pentatonic. So let's run through that real quick. And the riff that we're playing here, we're starting on the G string and we're bending up from D up to about D, uh, D sharp or E flat, the flat five essentially again. And following that flat five to the B and the E, uh, the, the, the B and E strings, I should say. So um, that, again, is a very T-bone-esque move, very ubiquitous in, in rock and blues, jazz as well, even in country, all Americana, actually. It's, it's so good. It's used across the board. Um, so this riff... Uh, starts here on G with the ring finger, again using support with the bend. Moving into the B string with that index finger, grabbing at the fifth fret, you're grabbing the, that E, the five, and then the root A. Right after that, we're coming back to the B string, but we're going to pull off from the uh, G, from that G note, at the 8th fret with a pinky, either the pinky or the ring finger, whichever feels best for you. Pull off, so we have... Okay, so we... All right, after that, we're coming back to the B string, we're going to pull off. So we're pulling off from the dominant 7G to the 5E. There, we're going to reach over on the G string and into the 8th fret, cross the 7th up to the 8th, grab that flat 5, slide into the, into the 4, pull off the minor 3rd. So B to G. Just a nice little flow there. Now let's couple that with a pivot move with the ring finger here. 7th fret, starting on the D, the root note. Up to the 4, back to A again, and then grab that minor 3rd on G. So we have B, pull off at the from the 8th to the 5th, reaching up to the G string, the 8th fret, ring finger, sliding from the 8th to the 7th fret, pulling off to the 5th, dropping down to the D string, 7th fret with the ring finger, pivoting, coming to the G string, index finger, Right there on the fifth fret, that's a minor third. That's where we stop. So you've got that much. We're almost home. Now the next move will be a pull off from the seventh to the fifth on the D string. And drop down to the A string at the seventh. And that's almost a, that's a triplet feel. Okay, so um, coming from the B string pull off, eight to five. G, 8 to 7 to pull off to 5. Going to the D string pivot. 7, 7 on G, 7 on D. Back to G at the 5. Pull off on D from the 7 to the 5. Land on A at the 7. Now we're going to hand shift. We're actually stepping out of this box for a second and tagging the, la the lower part of uh, the A minor uh, box 5. So it's sliding from 6, 6th fret on A to the 5th fret, pull off to the 3rd fret, hit root note, 
there on the sixth string, fifth fret, ring finger, pivot up to the uh, to that D note, back to A, you can finish up on that C right there. So the whole riff. Okay, let's walk through it together. I'll count it nice and slow and we'll play each note. One, two, one, two, three, four. Try it again. One, two, three, four. Something like that. 